The Lordship of Christ Jesus. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we shall discuss the importance of the Lordship of Jesus Christ in the Christian life. The central theme of the Bible is that Jesus is Lord. And it is the most important truth in a Christian's life. Paul told the church in Philippa in Philippians chapter 2 verses 9 to 11 that, Therefore God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of those in heaven, and of those on earth, and of those under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. This is because Lordship was at the center of Jesus' redemptive work on the cross. He died, rose again, and lived again so that he shall be Lord of both the living and the dead. When the question of the Lordship of Jesus is settled in the life of an individual, all other things fall into place. That is why as Christians we are called to live our lives in total submission to Jesus' Lordship. We are called to live for him whether we live or die. As Paul told the Romans in Romans chapter 14 verses 8 to 9. For if we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. Therefore, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ died and rose and lived again, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. Why is the Lordship of Jesus Christ important to us as Christians? It is because a day is coming when every person who has ever lived will confess that Jesus is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. But for us as Christians, the reality of Jesus being King of Kings and Lord of Lords should be a part of our everyday lives. We are not waiting for that day when all people will make a confession of this truth. We should be living moment by moment in faithful submission to Jesus' Lordship. Because the truth is that. We are not the ones making him the Lord of our lives. He is already the Lord. It is for us to surrender our lives to his Lordship and rule. Our failure to make him Lord is the reason we have so much defeat and disappointment and discouragement in our lives. We are trying to live the Christian life in our own strength instead of relying on Jesus. Remember, Bible says, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us, Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. Many of us have accepted Jesus as our Savior. But we are reluctant to make him Lord of our lives. When we accepted Jesus as our Savior, he automatically became our Lord. That is a truth we should accept at the same time, Jesus is both Lord and Savior. What does it mean for Jesus to be the Lord of your life? When Jesus is Lord of your life it means he is in control, he is the boss, and he is the master of every aspect of your life. He cannot be in control, of some parts of your life, he must have control of everything. We learn from the Bible that we are made up of spirit, soul and body. 1 Thessalonians 5.23 says. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely. And may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our spirit is our inner, private self that cannot be seen by others. It is made up of our minds, emotions, and will. Our soul is also part of our inner self and contains our thoughts, feelings, and desires. Our body is our visible, public self that other people can see and interact with. Jesus wants to be in charge of every aspect of our lives, both the private and the public. He wants to be Lord over our spiritual lives and our physical lives. He wants to be in control of our thoughts, our emotions, and our actions. We must always remember that our outward actions are a reflection of our inward selves. What we see, hear, say, and do in our public lives is a reflection of what's going on inside of us. The writer of Proverbs says. For as he thinks in his heart, says he, Proverbs chapter 23 verse 7. And again in Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23, he wrote. Keep your hearts with all diligence, for out of it spring the issues of life. That is why it is so important for Jesus to be the Lord of our public lives as well. This includes how we interact with others at home, at work, at school, and in our neighborhoods. It also includes our attitudes towards our possessions, obligations, and responsibilities, and how we use our time and resources. So, let us ask ourselves, is Jesus the Lord of your whole life? Is he in charge of your thoughts, emotions, and actions? If Jesus is not the Lord of all aspects of your life, then he's not truly the Lord at all. Take some time to reflect on your life and see where Jesus might not be in control. Surrender those areas to him and make him the Lord of your whole life. Let us now discuss what it takes for Jesus to be the Lord of your life. First and foremost, for Jesus to be the Lord of your life, you must yield your life to him. This means letting go of the controls and allowing him to be in charge. This requires total surrender, 
giving Jesus access to every aspect of your life. As the 19th century pastor, F. B. Meyer said, we must be willing to hand over the last key and let Jesus be the sole ruler of our lives and our possessions. If Jesus isn't the Lord of all areas of your life, then he isn't truly the Lord at all. In addition to surrender, yielding to Jesus' lordship also involves acknowledging his ownership of our lives. The Apostle Paul told the Corinthians in 1 Corinthians 6 19-20. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? For you were bought at a price, therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. You have been bought and so you at a price now belong to Jesus. When we yield to his lordship, we give up our personal rights and acknowledge that we are his purchased possession. Obedience is also an important part of yielding to Jesus' lordship. If he is the lord of your life, then you must do what he tells you to do. When Jesus gives us a command, we must be willing to obey it immediately and exactly. Remember that delayed obedience is the same as disobedience. We should be like the prophet Elijah. Whenever God commanded him he responded immediately. And because Elijah was very obedient God used him mightily in saving Israel, 1 Kings chapter 17 and 18. So, have you yielded your life to Jesus? Have you given him access to every aspect of your life and surrendered your personal rights? Are you obedient to his commands? If not, now is the time to surrender to his lordship and make him the ruler of your life. Thanks for watching. We hope this message has been helpful and we'll see you again soon. God bless you. Amen. Please subscribe to support our work.